Um, you changed my life, dude. I'm not even sure how to explain it. I just need to say thank you. Listen to the uh, Joe Rogan podcast um, from a couple of weeks ago, I guess now. Your description of where you were minus the um, physical manifestations uh, sounded exactly like where I've been uh, for months. I don't know what it was, but there was a fog. It's the only way I can describe it. And hearing Chris <laughs> describe the, uh, the place that his mind was in uh, sounded eerily familiar. He recommended two things, and I have been looking for answers for months and really looking. Um, and so the only place I knew to turn was to reach out to God and to ask, to really ask, God, I need an answer. I need something. I mean, I'm trying, I'm hanging on, but I'm running out of energy, man. He said to get back into the Bible, and even if you're not religious, he said Proverbs and Psalms and Ecclesiastes, and of course, even non-religious people know Proverbs and Psalms. Ecclesiastes is one of those, like, wow, that sounds like a book of the Bible. And I've been searching for peace, and I've had people in my life recommend Buddhism and Zen, and I don't know. My thing is I just, it's... I believe so deeply, and maybe it's short-sighted, maybe it's closed-minded, I don't know, but I had to find the answers in the Bible. So I flipped Ecclesiastes just for the heck of it, and the first header in my Bible, worn and tattered and I've had it forever, <laughs> says, everything is meaningless. That, that sounds an awful lot like Zen. <laughs> And I could start to read that because I felt for a long time just a meaninglessness. What's it all for? I don't know that I found the answer, but I've found a light that I'm trying to walk toward in a real darkness. It doesn't take a whole lot of light when it's really, really dark. The second thing that Chris recommended was CBD flower, of all things. I'm familiar with marijuana. I was ready to start smoking weed because um, I needed to find something to calm my brain, but I didn't want to get high. So I can drink a beer and not get drunk, but you're not going to smoke weed and not get high. Kind of the point. And I'm not trying to do that. And when Chris said CBD flower, I thought, wait a minute, CBD doesn't have the THC. I'm not going to get high. Man, I'll try anything. <laughs> and I don't want this to be controversial. I don't want the Oliver Anthony part to be controversial. I don't want the Christianity part to be controversial. I don't want the smoking part to be controversial. But I don't care. Um, for the first time in a long time, my brain's quiet. I'm not dumbed down, I'm not slowed down, I've got more energy, more excitement, more peace and calm in my life than I've ever had. I hope I get a chance to meet you, dude, because I'm going to give you a great big hug. I'm going to have to stand up on something tall, and maybe you can bend down. But I appreciate you, dude. I feel like I'm getting my life back. And I'm not ready to quit. I'm just getting started.